What is going on guys? It's Mitch here aka Royal Bacchus and today we got Overlord Season 4 Episode 11. We got two more after this so we're getting close to the end. Um, the last episode was actually a kind of a different one, kind of a different feel when it came to, uh, came to Ainz and stuff like that so we'll get into everything that happened because it was kind of crazy but before we do if you want to drop a like and subscribe down below really appreciate it bringing you Overlord every Monday and Friday and then Monday again and that's it. So Got three more. Uh, I also got Patreon, Twitter, Instagram down below as well. Support me on Patreon. You guys get the unedited versions of my videos. And you also get the content a couple days earlier than you would on YouTube. So, last episode was uh, the up-and-coming battle with uh, being led by Prince Zanuck and Ainz. And it didn't end up going the way that I thought it was going to go. So, basically, what ended up happening is we started off with Zanuck coming up to Ainz before the battle... And asking questions, really, in essence, to Ainz, like, why are you not taking, like, we are surrendering, but you won't take our plea. And Ainz actually, in this weird kind of thing, like, he was explaining that he's doing it for the happiness of his, the people that he cares about and all this other stuff. And I was kind of blown away about how kind of, like, the emotional side came into this little story that was happening last episode. And it was just very different than what I thought. And literally, at the end, Zanuck left thinking that Ainz was more human than he thought, right? All these emotions and the things that Ainz was saying and the, the, the feelings that he had for the people that he was doing this for, even though it might look from the other side like it's completely evil, there is another side to it. So that was a really interesting aspect of last episode is, uh, before the craziness kind of came in. Because sadly, in this whole thing, Zanuck, I didn't like him through the show. Like I thought he was kind of like, like a little like, tubby twerp you know what i mean so he not that i didn't like him but i just didn't take him very seriously but this episode made me actually like him i actually enjoyed him and this show i say it all the freaking time is when i start to like a character something bad happens to them every time so Zanuck went back to tell his people hey it's we're gonna get slaughtered basically and uh there's nothing we can really do about it but the way he was saying it was so like nice because he now he understands where Ainz is coming from a little bit his people didn't like that very much. What ended up happening was, is after that, his people turned on him, which I did not expect at all. I thought that was kind of crazy. And they cut his head off. They overthrew him and cut his head off and thought it'd be such a great idea to go bring the head of the prince to Ainz on across the field and be like, hey, we did this for you. Please, can you not kill us all? And I think because of the conversation and the connection that Ainz and Zanuck had, I think that like they thought maybe like, oh, if we give him his head, he'll let us go. Wrong. <laughs> he, I, I didn't expect to ha what happened to happen. So Ainz first was like, don't worry. Thank you for doing this. And after that, it was, we are going to murder all of them. There's going to be no survivors after this. He was not happy after he found out that they beheaded the prince. And on top of this as well, I'm really hoping that this episode doesn't get back into this character. Neuronist. That was thrown at the end of this episode where he said, like, so the people that brought the head uh, to Ainz, he basically said, like, follow, uh, I think it was Albedo, out and she'll take you and you'll be safe. And then basically... They said, like, as they're leaving, he said that, uh, hey, uh, make sure Neuronis makes this a slow and painful death for them, the people that did the beheading. And then after that, he said, and the rest of the people, slaughter them all. No survivors, no nothing. And it was quite interesting because when they brought the head, he had like a calmness to him. But the only line that kind of stuck to me is when he said, give him a respectful like grave or something like that to Zanuck. And I was kind of like, huh, that's a little different because... Maybe, like, I thought he was going to toss him to the side and be like, okay, whatever. No, he got pissed after this happened and basically said, everybody is done. I am I am so far gone with this. I'm going to kill everybody and the people that actually did this. I'm going to torture them and make it extremely slow and painful with Neuronis, which I am really hoping we don't have to see a scene like we did the last time that she was brought into the show. Because I did that on Logical Heroes and me and Trev, I, I was shocked. I was shocked after that episode of the stuff that they were showing. So absolutely insane. But yeah, uh, the battle, I'm guessing it, it's going to be a fast one, obviously. But I don't know if maybe we're going to maybe this is the we're just going to skip over this because really, in essence, it's going to be a fast, uh, fast fight. So 
I don't know what this episode kind of is going to pertain or what's going to be in, in the episode, but I'm going to stop talking and let's see what happens. I guess the fight is over. Oh, that's going to suck. かしこまりました。わあ。そうなったもんだ。あ、少し Seriously. <laughs> she was blessed by Ains. <gasps> oh, oh boy. Oh, Holy shit. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. お前も幹部の一人でありんすね。え、あ、いはい。いくでありんすよ。いやよ。ノーウェイ。あれも分かってくれるさ。バプティズム。レッツ Wow. It's amazing how he's completely like switched the minds and they're thinking of how they look at him. Oh, they're gonna slaughter them all. This is gonna be so quick. <gasps> it's the uh what, oh, what was her name? The brother that was with all the chicks. Wow, so he knows what everything is. Oh, we got the music going and everything now, too. <laughs> I always love that. Oh, this is cool. Sorry, guys, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's tofu. <laughs> That's great. And she's supposed to be him uh, back alive, so. <laughs> Hurry it up. Oh, God. 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 What is going on? <笑>私の名前は知っているとは思うが改めて名乗らせてもらう。リクアガネイ。リクアガニ。アガニア。初めて聞くのだが、その<笑><笑> そう。それで意味一人の価値はこんな国よりまさる。Nope。ブレートテレポーテーション。This <笑> That actually kind of pissed uh, Ainz off a little bit. Oh my god! 
And it's still going. <clears throat> Holy crap. Holy shite. Whoa. This is new. I'm surprised that this is actually going as far as it is. Always it's like a villain explaining his evil plan. Whoa. What? <laughs> What the hell? What is happening? Oh my god. Oh, let's go! That's so funny that he didn't let him finish what he was trying to say. What in the hell? I've never seen Ainz in that situation before. I can't believe it was. What? This is wicked. しかし、魔道王が突破できなかった世界第一衝撃をできるのは資源の魔法を使うことだ。さあ、それで魔道王の強さはどうだった？ お前が倒せなかった相手なんだろうからかなり強いと思うが。あれなら次に戦えばもちろん一騎打ちという形でなければならない。ゾンガイ Wow, that was excellent. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? And I thought the whole time that was Ainz. Jesus Christ, this show, sometimes. Um, <laughs> so we now know that it wasn't actually Ainz that was fighting. I was blown away when he like kneeled down there. And I was like, this is not something that you see ever from Ainz. The one thing too, though, I actually really liked like this whole, like I, I guess a lot of anime is like they'll let uh, people kind of like speak through their like whole dialogue and then they begin the battle and then the dragon lord just kind of intervened while he was speaking and then attacked pandora's actor at the, which i thought was Ainz at the time and then albedo came in saved everything like that i like this new uh character um the dragon lord he seems like he's actually fit to fight pandora's actor but not Ainz. i don't know because for, for a second i actually thought that Ainz was having uh, problems fighting him i'm like did we just find a, like the new uh, character that's going to be trying to take out Ainz. Obviously, if he can't take out Pandora's actor, which was extremely smart by Ainz, by the way, to just send him in and just watch and see what happens. And now the Dragon Lord thinks he knows what the strength is of Ainz, but he really doesn't. So excellent, excellent episode, but like a great plot twist. But on top of this as well, Azuth, I think his name is. I can't remember once again. There's so many names to remember in this show. 
he uh, seems to be a puppet of the Dragon Lord in a sense, where it's like at first you think like they're on a team together and they're working towards a, a goal, and then at the end the Dragon Lord just says straight up like, should I kill him and give his armor to someone more powerful? Like it's like it just seems like he's checking people off one by one and making sure that this plan that they're talking about is going to come to fruition. So. Excellent episode. Love the action and everything like that. But before I leave, guys, if you want to drop a like, subscribe down below, we greatly appreciate it. Bringing you to Overlord every Monday and Friday. And I also got Patreon, Instagram, and Twitter in the links down below. And until next time, guys, see you later.